elements of a denial letter. Sylvia Browdy here, small business consultant, licensed claims adjuster, field inspector, and advocate for startup service-based businesses. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for all things small business. Let's get into it. A well-crafted denial letter should include these following elements. First, a clear and professional opening that acknowledges the claim. This opening sets a professional tone. It acknowledges the claim and reassures the insured that their situation has been carefully considered. Next, an explanation of the investigation findings detailing what was reviewed and discovered. For instance, you filed a water claim and our investigation revealed, then reference the specific policy language that supports the denial, such as exclusions, conditions, or limits. Be sure to explain why the claim or part of it does not meet the policy requirements. Explain the evidence that helped with the decision, such as photos, inspection report, insured statements, a plumber's report if it's a water claim, police report if it's vandalism or theft, and of course, the policy and all of this should back up your decision. Lastly, provide instructions on how the insured can appeal or submit additional information. Clear communication when a claim is denied helps maintain professionalism and transparency. So if you want to see other videos on this type of topic, just leave a comment below or let me know if this was a helpful video.